What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux. Today, we're talking about that six-star waifu that all of you slaved over on your re-rolls for, if you're going for her specifically, or you just gave up because she was just dodging you. Yes, we're talking about Centurion be going over her kit, who she works best with, and how to play her. So, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, guys, so let's talk about Centurion. Yes, she's sitting right here looking great. And I want to make sure to tell you guys how you should be using Centurion, how you could use Centurion, because there's two different ways to play her, right? So let's go ahead and get into her kit. So she is a six-star beast character. She focuses on wanting to gain Moxie very quickly and using it either with her ult or just having insane single target damage. Right, so with her ultimate reality show premiere, it's a mass attack, deals 300% reality damage and inflicts one sack of weakness on all enemies. So this lowers the um, amount of damage that the enemies can do. So it's also like a really helpful ult, um, but it does a lot of damage. And so with gaining as much moxie as you can, um, this allows you to just do crazy AOE damage. Now. Her skill, Victorious General, one target attack deals 180% reality damage, plus the caster's moxie times 8% extra reality damage. So the more moxie that you have, the more extra reality damage you get, right? So if you have five moxie, this is 40% extra reality damage. And at level two, it goes to 12% with 270. And then at level three, this becomes a crazy nuke of 450% reality damage with the moxie. You multiply that by five, that's an extra 100%. This becomes, honestly, a stronger ability than her ultimate as a single target nuke. It is a crazy scaling with it. Crazy, crazy scaling. Um, and it, 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 it's just a lot, guys. It's a lot. For those of you who use Centurion, you see how much damage she can do. You can see what she's doing for your accounts. Um, and then you have her other attack, Outdoor Superstar. It's a mass attack, deals 150% reality damage to two enemies. And as you increase it, um, it is allowing you to get extra moxie for yourself and then also a little extra damage. But then on the uh, level three, it gives moxie plus two for self. And so she allows herself to boost the amount of moxie that she has as well. Um, kind of similar to like a knight right uh, but a knight needs to kill centurion's able to do it without that on this skill right um so and also she has crazy scalings for using it on her insight level when you guys upgrade her insights um her insights are really nice especially insight three uh on insight one for every one moxie owned she has damage dealt plus six percent it's another scaling for having more moxie guys this is why she gets crazier um, as you upgrade her, she ages like fine wine, you would say, right? On Insight 2, she has a crit rate plus 10%. And then on Insight 3, when the caster loses Moxie, she gets extra HP. So after you use her ult, she gets a big boost of health as well. To where it's like, what are the downsides of this character? She gets extra damage for attacking and having all the moxie she gets crit rate for free she has aoe on her ult she has sustain like bruh that's why she's a really good character honestly um and when it comes to resonate oops i have not unlocked resonate for my character uh because i just haven't worked on my uh centurion i know i know fire me up in the chat i haven't worked on my centurion really at all uh but with resonate you really want to boost um or crit rate and crit damage because she has a really uh decent um base stat of crit rate uh a lot of the characters with insight crit rate bonuses by the way are mostly going to be built into crit you want to do that so you're looking for attack you're looking for crit rate and crit damage um and then you know you have other characters one especially in the future that'll help boost that and then you have other psy cube options um they can help with that crit rate as well if you ended up going for the portraits the portraits are really nice they mainly boost the reality damage nothing too crazy of changing how she works it just buffs her damage just a big damage boost right all right so let's talk about the side cubes that work best with her um one of them being thunderous applause if you're going for the ability and wanting to do a single target nuke because thunderous applause will give her extra crit rate and then it'll boost 
the crit damage of the single target skill that she has and that's if you're going to be again a skill based centurion where you're just focusing on the one skill you use the ultimate to uh heal yourself right and this is insight three i'm talking but before that you're just using the skill and getting all of that extra damage from the skill now if you're going to be an ulting um centurion there's two options that you go with you either go with brave new world if you're wanting to ult and then have the uh next incantation either your aoe one get bonus damage or your single target gets some bonus damage real quick um or you can go with hopscotch where you're building up the extra moxie um from clearing out everything with your um skill which you're getting the incantation might which is really nice um and then your ultimate becomes a new now there are some other options like his bounden duty where if you are using centurion you're not really wanting to heal much she gets a damage bonus and then she heals after you know taking out targets but it's not really my favorite option for centurion all right and so when it comes to the supports healers characters that she wants to pair with there are a lot of great options that you can go with whether you be a whale or a free-to-play you have ann and lee who is honestly a support for everybody and uh with ann and lee there's also sonetto where you know basically they give a universal buff to everybody right but they also will work with centurion uh Bikur and bloom is probably going to be the strongest pick because centurion does a lot of reality damage and Bikur and bloom can help boost the amount of damage that centurion does and you know like Bikur and bloom can just throw out her debuff and the centurion can just kill everything right you know she has mass attack single target however you want to do this Bikur and bloom is going to be a really great pairing and i already talked about um Sinetto. Um, and then also for your healers, you have many different options. If you got a Sotheby, you can use Sotheby, right? Because once you get um, Centurion to Insight 3, then she'll be able to heal herself if your Sotheby is not healing as much for you. But there are going to be better healing options. Um, you have uh, not healing, just healing, but survival options. I'm sorry. You have Tenet, who is going to uh, reduce the reality defense on enemies. You have La Source as a healer you have a uh, balloon party who's a gr really great option i don't have i was not blessed with all of these characters but yeah like tenant she's going to be a really great option for lowering the rally different defense um you have dk once you get to eight day or if you got dk dk is also going to be a great option to use um just somebody to help sustain centurion until you get that insight three i know a lot of you are getting close to i3 so that's why i've been talking about i3 because within the first week of the game you guys should have an insight three character but let's go ahead and look at um centurion's kit right all right so when you enter into battle like i said there's a um it depends on how you want to play her. if you want to boost your single target damage um or if you're just wanting to build up to your ult we're gonna go ahead here and combine the abilities that way we can get bonus moxie once we do attack so we'll take a little bit of damage from these enemies All right, so we have an option here. What ability do we want to go with? Do we want to boost our moxie or use a single target skill? Um, we're going to go ahead and boost up our moxie. That way we can show off the ult. All right, and her ult is going to be, again, a mass attack. It's going to do a strong amount of damage um, with the right uh, six star psy cube. This will just boost the damage even more. But my personal favorite, um, I like the single target one, um, especially when you have other teammates with Centurion. She just does a lot of damage on it, and she's rewarded for having uh, more Moxie. And it just does a lot of damage, guys. Like it's it's really good, and that's and that's what I would personally go for if I was using my Centurion a lot more, just nuking stuff. Get the bonus moxie for having the skill upgraded and we'll just go ahead and finish off this enemy it's gonna be a max moxie version so it's gonna do a lot of damage right so again that's how you play centurion you have two different ways to play her either single target or doing aoe mass um ultimate way all right guys and if this video was helpful to you please hit the like button to help me out Comment down below how good your Centurion is and let me know what type of damage she's doing on your account. Sub to the channel because you guys know I'm putting out this R99 content, man. And if you want more, hit the sub, click the bell so you know when I go live. 
um and guys i'm loving the game keep it coming with the comments because y'all are giving me more and more and more ideas for what to put out um honestly like i have so many videos to talk about and i haven't even gotten to cn like i, I can't even cover cn because you guys are giving me so many great ideas for what to put out on global like i'm up to putting two videos out a day and then live streaming like it's a lot but i love it i love it i do it because of you guys you guys have been very very responsive on everything that i put out you guys watch every video i have not had a single video be a miss pretty much everyone has loved them so um keep it up guys just keep it up but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you lucky gamers have a good one lucky lux out